I uh, I just wanted to share a few more tools that I would recommend you to uh, start using. Uh, luckily, they don't need to be downloaded. They live in the browser, so at least a little bit uh, less hassle with that. Um, one of them is GitHub. GitHub is like a social network for programmers, but of course it's way more. It's a collaboration tool. Um, so for example, uh, this is one profile uh, of one very well-known uh, JavaScript developer called Substack. Um, you can find the repositories of code uh, that he's working on. Um, this code, for example, has many contributors. So GitHub is uh, not just social network, but it's also a collaboration tool. Um, you can uh, write code together with other people. People can open issues and uh, maybe ask for certain features or uh, let you know about uh, errors or bugs in your code. Um, you can also copy the code uh, by forking it. You can click fork here and then you copy it to your profile and then you start adding uh, some features that you want to see that maybe the original um, creator doesn't want to add. Uh, so all the code here is open source and it's open for everyone to use. Uh, there is no copyrights in this sense. So the, the whole uh, culture is about sharing and trying to build and use each other's code and to make some cool stuff that then everyone can use for, for their work. So it's, like I said, social network, it's a collaboration tool, but it's also a portfolio. So if you go on certain person's profile, you can see uh, how active they are. You can see the contributions on each day. And if you click, you can also see what were that contributions. So uh, if you're applying for a job or uh, if you're applying for a grant or something like that, it's very likely that people will go and check your profile. So I recommend you to um, just join and to start basically working on your profile. Uh, so all the exercises that we will do, uh, you will be anyway using GitHub. So your contribution will start showing. Um, another thing is HackMD. Uh, maybe just to show here, for example, every project has a readme. This is like a documentation documentation for a certain um, project. And this, this text, you see that it has a special formatting. Uh, this comes from a markdown language, which is something similar to HTML, but HTML we're building, uh, we're using more for building web pages, but uh, markdown is used for, um, for making like notes, uh, for basically uh, formatting documents. Um, and HackMD is a tool where you can just like make notes. Um, and if I show you, for example, one example, this is how you can use it. Um, it, this is the special language. You can say title with a hash in front, um, or if you do double hash, then you have a subtitle. Um, and if you put this uh, backticks JS and then end with backticks, everything in between is basically formatting code. So if you want, um, like I showed here, um, in your repositories, if you want to nicely format your code, you can just use the markdown. Uh, and if you want to make notes, you can use HackMD, where you can also use this markdown and then maybe copy over some stuff to your uh, GitHub or just in general to make notes. Um, so HackMD, it's also a free tool and very, very useful. Um, and one last thing, so that you don't forget about these tools, I definitely recommend you to create uh, a folder for storing all this uh, information. And then you can just start dragging uh, all these cool links in so that you don't forget about them. And even, you know, if you make an, some kind of note, some, some just uh, notes when while you're learning in HackMD, you can then also uh, just pull in the, the link, and then you also have the notes directly in your bookmarks. Mm -hmm.